Researchers have discovered a series of large underwater sedimentary deposits in a region near Italy that were likely formed by ancient volcanic supereruptions. These deposits, known as megabeds, were discovered in the western Marsili Basin, an area on the floor of the Tyrrhenian Sea that surrounds the Marsili Seamount, a large underwater volcano. By combining geophysical data obtained from a research project in Spain and sediment core data collected from a nearby ocean drilling program site, the scientists were able to show that three of the deposits consist of alternating layers of volcanoclastic sand and mud, while the fourth deposit is a volcanoclastic layer. Debris flows, denser mixtures of volcanic sediment and water. The findings of this study, published in the Journal of Geology, suggest that these structures were deposited during a turbulent time when the Campi Flegrei caldera and the Neapolitan Yellow Tuff supereruption were active. The new study shows that these megabeds did not come from a nearby volcano, but from a volcanic province to the north. According to researchers, the province is an area that was once close to the Campanian Ignimbrite C supereruption at Campi Flegrei, which was one of the largest volcanic eruptions since the formation of the caldera nearly 50,000 years ago. These still active volcanic regions could pose major dangers in the future, said Derek Sawyer lead author of the study and professor of earth sciences at the Ohio State University. The discovery of these previously unknown megabeds is critical to understanding and quantifying the impact of recurring geohazards over time. Megabeds are an important component of deep sea basins and are thought to be the result of a major catastrophic event, he said. So studying them can provide an important archive of how these events impacted Earth. The sea supereruption was such a powerful event that it had a major impact on the planet and played a role in shaping the Earth's climate and ecosystem, as well as much of human migration and geological history. Thanks to the large amount of dust and ash that remained on land and was eventually carried into the ocean, Sawyer and his team were able to distinguish the age and composition of the four sedimentary deposits, and determined their interpretation that the megabeds originated from the Campi Flegrei caldera to the north was likely supported. Further evidence supporting this theory comes from the researchers' discovery that small marine microbes called benthic foraminifera that reside in these megabeds did not come from Marsili as previously assumed, but from the Campi Flegrei caldera. Although scientists can now better predict potential ruptures and other types of seismic hazards, Recent volcanic and hydrothermal activity in the Mediterranean has raised scientists' concerns about whether the Marsili Seamount, which rises 3,500 meters from the seafloor to a depth of 489 meters and below sea level will soon erupt. This is a part of Italy, the Flegrine Fields, where Mount Vesuvius is and is still a very active volcanic area so the dangers are known and they are constantly monitored," Sawyer said. In conducting marine geoscience studies like this, we seek to help understand past eruptive events to aid efforts to build resilient communities that have as much information as possible to avoid being displaced. If volcanoes in this region erupted today, the movement of huge deposits of magma beneath the surface could trigger tsunamis that threaten nearby coastal cities and cause a variety of other ecological disasters. Although the study found that megabeds reappear in the Marsili Basin every 10,000 to 15,000 years, Sawyer said that because not every eruption produces megabeds, scientists must be vigilant in watching for events that don't fit within that time frame.
Because the last event is thought to have occurred around 2100 to 3000 years ago, there is still uncertainty regarding when the next event will occur.